This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2, for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover complex doors. So today we're going to use the 2D Shape Editor and I've already done a basic tutorial on it. So I'm going to put some links in the bottom in the description for you to follow. This is merely to focus on the building of the door. First you need to select the texture for your complex door. So you come into your texture browser, open, and today we're going to take something from SCAR. And in the submenu, select doors. And as you can see, they've got some nice shapes here for doors, which they're expecting you to cut up. So I'm just going to take a simple one for today. Let's take this one here. And as you can see here, it is 256 wide and then 128 high. So keep that in mind because your, your hallway will need to be this dimension after you've built your door. So we've got these cool shapes here and these cool lines that we can follow. So first select the texture so that you see the green outline. Minimize that. Open up your 2D shape editor. And here you go. And the first thing you need to do is you need the guide from that image. So you come to File, Image, Get from Current Texture. And there's the image. Let's zoom in a little bit. There. So here is the texture in real size. As you can see, I'm going to need to move. These are my vertexes or vertices, if you will. I'm going to need to move them to follow these cuts. So let's start on the bottom here with this one. This one is the red one is selected. You hold down your left mouse button and drag it to the proper place. Same thing here with the bottom right. Left click and drag until it's perfect. Now you've only got two left, so you're gonna need to make a whole bunch more vertices. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna need eight of them. So you come up here to this button Okay, so I think I should have enough, and if I made too many, we can delete them after. So let's just follow this line. Now I'm going to do a simple door this time. I'm going to just do two pieces, this piece, the bottom piece, and the top piece. But really, if you have more time, you could actually do one, two, three, four pieces, because they've got the nice cuts there. So you take the first one, which is red, you left click and drag it into position. And the next one. So as you can see, I have all the vertices following the nice lines that the designer has given us. So you can imagine that this is one shape, and then we will do the same process for the other shape. But for now, let's just build the bottom shape. You come up here to Extrude, which means it's going to give it a three-dimensional quality, because right now all you have is a two-dimensional sheet. So by using the Extrude, it means you're going to give this a certain thickness and I'll choose 32 as my thickness. Click OK. Minimize that because you're going to use it again. So there is the brush and as you can see it's oriented wrong for now but for now leave this flat and I'll explain why. So 
you have your brush you click on add and there is the brush here with all that door texture and as you can see all the textures are unaligned because you've created this complex shape so the first thing you need to do while this brush is flat like this is right click on a surface select all adjacents so you have everything selected now while everything is selected on this brush you right click align to the floor now you will see that you're getting there but at least everything is aligned to each other top and the bottom and don't worry about the sides because that's the side the sides of the door which we'll put a texture on later so now you take your red brush you click on it to get the red brush and move that out of the way and this is the brush that we want here okay so I click on it so that it's blue and now let's just put this like here note that I have dynamic uh, real-time view selected on both you click on this to rotate the brush hold down the control key and the left and right, right mouse buttons all at the same time so control both buttons and then drag until it's upright there now go back to your camera mode hit build and there's the brush so we're very close so just as a reference I'm going to show you what the door looked like so we want this bottom piece has to match this texture like that so unfortunately once I click here I'm going to lose this but you have the idea of what I'm going to do next I'm going to take this piece I'm going to select all of the adjacent all of the adjacent walls now I come back up here to surface properties and I'm going to just start to adjust the brush So now I have the bottom piece. This side matches the bottom piece of my texture. Let's make sure you go on the other side of the brush and make sure that it also is perfectly aligned to this. And then later on, I'm going to just add a base texture all around these edges here, but they're not as important as what the player will see. So that's part one. And now you will do part two. So go back to the two-dimensional editor and you want to reset all of these vertices so just go new and now we're gonna do the same procedure with the top half so I'm gonna come up to here and I'm gonna to need to add again a whole bunch of vertices I think it's eight not sure if I added enough but we can add more later so start with this one at the top drag it left click and drag same thing here top right left click drag whoops
just going to add one more vertex. So now I have the top half of the door. Again, you will need to extrude to give it some thickness, 32 units. Click OK, minimize that. And there is the other piece. I'll just move the camera over here so you can see it. Click on Add. There's the brush. Move the red brush out of the way. Just move it over. Click on any surface, right click, select all adjacents. Okay, then right click again, align to floor. Now that we've done the alignment on the top and on the bottom, which you'll be able to see soon, let's click on this brush. And same thing, I'm just going to move the camera so you can see it better. Same thing again, click on this button here, hold down control and both mouse buttons and drag until it's perfectly upright. There it is. Now we rebuild. There's the top half of the door. Let's put this here for reference. So you right click on the surface, select all adjacent walls like that. And then up here, surface properties. And looks like we need to first move horizontally there and then vertically until we have the, that piece right there. Now go to the other side of the brush to make sure it's properly aligned. It is. So this is part one of just using the 2D shape editor to get the top and the bottom half of the doors. So now that you have the two halves of the doors, and I've just put them here so you can see them both in action, the next thing you need to do is I'll zoom out a bit so you can see it better. Here we go. The next thing you need to do is click on a blue brush. So let's click on the bottom piece. All right. And what you need to do is you need to right click on the blue brush while it's selected. And go to polygons and merge. And why did we do that? We did that now because now this whole texture is one surface only. Remember how when you first used the shape editor, this is a whole bunch of triangular shapes. Now it's only one. And you come around to the other side. Now it's only one. And now you can do the same trick for the top door up here. Click on it so it's blue. Right click, polygons, merge. And same thing here too. Now it's one surface. And the reason why you're doing that is that when you make your door, the lighting will be uniform across it and there won't be some ugly surprises. So we're almost ready to go. You now have built your two pieces. These are solid brushes, which you've done merge polygons. Now you've got to take your normal red brush Build that brush, reset, make sure you reset your brush before using it to intersect anything. Now come over here, drag it into position. Okay, so you can see how the red brush completely encircles it. And uh, hit build just to make sure. And then intersect. So there is the brush that you will now use to make the door. And uh, I've done this in a previous tutorial, so I will link to that as well. And here at the bottom, you can see the results. Here is the bottom half. 
and there's the top half. So there's those are your two mover brushes, and I've used a trigger to open these two doors at exactly the same time. You don't want to have these to be bump open. You want them to be trigger control. Again, I will link to my tutorial for that. So I have a trigger, and I just want to show you one thing on the trigger. When you go into Actors, Radii View, you can now see the whole radius. So I had to adjust this to 150 radius. So you can see it's wide enough to cover the whole width of the door on both sides. So when the player is inside this radius, those doors will open. And now you just have a standard mover. You need to, let me just show you the movers here, the properties. Click on both, hold down the control key, click on both properties. I have an event tag for both, which is scar and which is the same as the event of this trigger. I changed it to ignore when encroach. I reduced the move time significantly down to 0.3 seconds. And here under object initial state, I changed this to trigger control. And I added some mover sounds. So let's check this out in the game. So I just did a simple example because I only made two pieces. But like I say, you could actually have made this four pieces. One, two, three, four. And then you could have made four movers and then have them sort of open outward if you can get my meaning. And that would be a pretty cool effect as well. But for now, I just did two. So in summary, use the 2D shape editor to get your complex shapes. Once you've built the shape, align to floor, use the textures align to floor, then rotate the brushes to the wall orientation. Then you can adjust the textures. And finally, once you've done that, you right click on the blue brush and you merge polygons so that it's only one clean face and it looks good when you add lights.